Hi everyone, today we're going to learn on how to compute the median of a group data. First, we need the frequency distribution. As you can see on the given table, we have 50 students who took the quiz in statistics. Second is how to solve the median of a group data, which is denoted as capital M with small letter D. Of course, we can only solve the mean uh, median of a group data with a given formula. As you can see, we have MD equals XLB plus N over 2 minus CFB over FM times I. Now, let us try to determine each symbols being used in the given formula. So, let's start with MD. MD is the median of a group data. XLB is the lower boundary or true lower limit of the median plus. N. So, the capital N here is the total frequency or the total number of population of the given data. CFB is the cumulative frequency before the median class. FM is the frequency of the median class. And letter I is the class width or class size of the class limits. So, these are the essential terms in order for us to determine the median of a group data. So, let us now try to combine the frequency distribution with the given formula okay so as you can see here we have two columns which has a class limit or class interval with a corresponding frequency so in solving the median of a group data we only need to add one column and that is about the cumulative frequency which is before the median class so here we have the symbol less than which means that the class limit or class interval were arranged in a descending order. Meaning to say, if we're going to use the greater than symbol of cumulative frequency before the median class, the class limit or class interval were arranged in an ascending order. So, how can we fill in properly each row of the less cumulative frequency before the median class or CFB? Okay, this would be the process. First is, you need to determine the total frequency or total number population. In this frequency distribution, we have 50. So, bring down 50 on the first row. Now, in order to get the existing rows, the second, third, until to the last part, we need to do the difference or subtraction. How? We're going to subtract the given cumulative frequency on each the same column. I mean the same row as on the frequency. How? 50 minus 2, that is 48. The same as we're going to subtract 48 to 5, and that is 43. Okay? Then how can you solve the fourth row? 43 minus 8, that is 35. 35 minus 6, 29 minus 10, 19. 19 minus 8, 11. 11 minus 8. Now, how would you know that you fill in properly or correctly all the given values? Just simply do the checking on the last part and the first part. So, 50 must equal to the total number of population. And 3 would be the, the same as on the first frequency on the lowest class limit or class interval on the given frequency distribution. So, this is how you fill in properly the less cumulative frequency before the median class on the given data which are arranged in a descending order. How about in ascending order? So, let us have this frequency distribution. So, how would you tell that this is an unincreasing order? Of course, as you can see on the first row, 5 9 to 9, 10 to 14 are in increasing mode. So, therefore, it is an increasing order. So, if it is an increasing order, we're going to use greater symbol of cumulative frequency before the median class. In this case, how are you going to fill in properly all the rows? Of, so, the first row should be the first frequency. And what is the first frequency value? That is 3. So, you're going to bring down 3 here. Now, how, how can you tell the next row? So, in the less than cumulative frequency, we're going to subtract the frequency on a given row. Here, we're going to add 
Okay, we're going to add on the next row. That is 3 plus 8, 11, 19, plus 29. We're going to do the same process in order to fill in the remaining rows. So 29 plus 6, 35, 35 plus 8, 43. That is 48 and 50. Okay, this time how we're going to say that we are in the good or correct values for the cumulative frequency. Check the first, it is 3, the same, and 50 must be the end of the cumulative frequency before the median plus. So this is how we fill in properly all the values of the cumulative frequency before the median plus. Okay, so let us try to compare. As you can see, here is greater, there here is less than or less cumulative frequency. In greater, we're, we're started with the frequency. Then we add the diagonal or the next, um, next row to get the other values for the greater cumulative frequency. Here in the less cumulative frequency, we just started with the total number population. Then we're going to subtract it on each the same row of the frequency value. So 50 minus 2, then that's it. 11 minus 8, 3. So these are the two different ways to solve the median of a group data. But you can use either of it to get the median of a group data. But this time, I really want to use this right portion. And that is in a descending order. Okay, so what do you think is the main importance of why we are computing the values for the cumulative frequency before the median plus. Because this is now the values or the basis for the value of the median plus. So how can you tell the values for the median plus? First is we need to consider the total number of population over 2. And that is n over 2. Okay, we're going to use this in order to determine the row of the median plus. So we know n is 50, then half of it is 25. Now, in the cumulative frequency before median plus, there is no 25. So we're going to find the cumulative frequency before the median plus, which is so close or closer to 25. So let us take the 19. If we're going to use 19, 19 is 6 steps away to 25 but 29 is just four steps away to from 25 therefore we're going to use the 29 as the uh, cumulative frequency before median plus as our row for the median plus okay so right now we have the median plus then if we're going to have the median plus, we can easily determine the FM. And that is the frequency of the median plus, which is 10. Okay? So, here, if we're going to look with the cumulative frequency before the median plus, CFB, which number is before 29? I mean, before the 2024 class limit or class um interval so what value of the cfb which is before the class limit or class interval of 20 to 24 is it 35 or 19 okay it should be 19 therefore 19 is our cfb cf means cumulative frequency before the median class this is the median class okay the red line okay right now we have the n over 2 we have the fm we have the cfb this time how we're going to get the xlb or the lower boundary or true lower limit of the median class so we may say lower it should not be the higher one so in this class limit or class interval on the given median class where do you think is the lower value or i mean lower limit 20 or 24 that is 20. So, we're going to get the XLB by getting the average of the 20 and before the 20 is 19. Okay, so what do you think is the average? 19 plus 20 is 39. Divided by 2, we have 
what we call 19.50. This time, 19.50 is what we call the XLB or the lower boundary or true lower limit of the given median plus. Okay, so how can we solve the I or the class size of class limit or interval or the class win? Okay, earlier I already discussed it to you that in in order for us to get the class size of the class limit, just simply uh, subtract the higher limit to the lower limit in any class limit or class interval of this row. Example, we have to use this 44 minus 4. That is 4. Then add 1. It becomes 5. So therefore, our class size, class width, or class size of the class limit or interval is 5. The same as if we're going to subtract 9 to 5, that is 4, plus 1, it becomes 5. 14 minus 10, that is 4, plus 1, that is 5. If you are not satisfied with that, we can also get the class with by simply count individually from 10 to 14 that is 10 11 12 13 14 it's also 5 that is why that are the different values in solving the median of the group data okay so right now we have here the different values and the same time with the different terms being used in order to solve the median of a group data. Okay, so let us now try to solve it by substitution. We have now the formula MD equals XLB plus N over 2 minus CFB over FM times I. So let us try to substitute it one by one. Let's start with MD. MD equals XLB. The XLB here is 19.5, so let us bring down 19.5, add. Then N over 2 is 25, so let us put here 25, minus CFB. CFB is 19, so let us put here 19, over FM, or the frequency of the median class is 10, bring down 10. And lastly is the class size of the class limit or interval, which is 5, put it here. Then, of course, we can simplify it by subtracting the numerator. Okay, so bring down MD equals 19.5 plus 25 minus 19, which is 6. So we have now 10 times 5. Then right after that is we're going to multiply it or divide it. So this time I prefer to multiply it then after that if the, uh, get the product and divide it by 10. So 6 times 5 is 30, divide 10 is 3. That is why we have 19.5 plus 3. And the last is, we're going to get the median of a group data by adding it. So that's it, 22.5. So what do you mean by this median of a group data? It means that the number, I mean the 50% of the number of students who took the statistics quiz has a score which is less than 22.5 okay so if you like this video please subscribe and click the bell button for more notification thank you and god bless everyone